What's good, YouTube? Today I'll be showing you how to add a blur effect to your Scratch game. First, we're going to need to use the pen extension so we can step. Let's go and click on extensions down here. And what we're gonna need is the pen. So you see we have all these blocks that use the pen tool. The one that we need is the stamp block. So if you click on it and we drag off the scratch cat, you see it leaves a clone behind. It's a little bit of bad quality, but we'll get through that issue. Okay, so how this is gonna work is we're basically going to rotate around the cat in a circle and then stamp and they're all going to have opacity or be transparent. So that way they're all blurred. Let me show you. Let's drag out repeat 10. Let's put the stamp block inside of it. Now let's go to motion. We need to go to the center of the screen and we need to rotate around 15 degrees. Let's go back to the pen category and let's erase all. So let's click on this block and you'll see the cat leaves a trail of stamps behind it. So now here comes the cool effect. Let's go to looks and let's drag out sets ghost effect to 90. Now when we click on this block, you can see the cats are transparent and it blurs them out a little bit. Now what we need to do is make the cats have no rotation at all. Let's go to motion and let's drag out the block, where is it? Set rotation style, don't rotate. Now after we turn 15 degrees, let's move 10 steps. So now clicking on that block, you can see the scratch cat looks a little smudged. Now what we need to do is make a block to contain all of this. Let's go to my blocks. Let's make a block and let's call it blur. Let's add an input and let's call it quality. That's going to be the quality of the blur. Let's add another input called amount, which is how much blur we have. Now let's make sure to press run without screen refresh and OK. So let's put all of these blocks inside. And now what we need to do is plug in the quality and amounts variables. So we leave go to 0, 0. Instead of move 10 steps, let's drag out amounts. And instead of 15, Perfect. we're going to divide 360 by quality. Now let's put this in a forever loop. When green flag clicked, forever and blur. For the values, let's put in 50 for quality and 10 for amounts. And now you can see Scratch Cat rotating around really fast. And the reason he's rotating around like that, looks like he's glitching out, is we need to plug in our quality into repeat 10. And now, you can see on the screen, Scratch Cat, but he's blurred. Change the quality, we would change this. You can see it increases the quality of the blur, and the amount is this 10 right here. So if you put in five, the blur is a little less. We put in 50, it's a lot. And I wouldn't go anything above. What we need to do is change the set ghost effect to. Let's set it to 98. And now you can see the blur looks a lot better. And we can also use different costumes. So let's go to our costumes category. Let's choose a costume. I don't know, I'm gonna go with Amina. Click on Amina. She has a lot of cool dance moves. So there we go, there goes Amina, pop blurred. And what's really cool, let's show this my variable variable. If we double click on the display, we can change it to a slider. So let's plug in our my variable into blur amounts. So now you can change how much blur there is. And if we go a lot, <laughs> it just looks kind of weird. So yeah, everyone, that's how you do a blur effect. You can apply this to pretty much anything in your game. Let's go to my project. I'm gonna show you leaked Flappy Bird game. In this game, you can see that I used the blur effect for the clouds and it actually makes the game look really cool, I think. Though, if you use the blur effect too much, it can cause lag. Don't use it too much. So yeah, everyone, that's the end of this tutorial. Make sure to smash like, smash subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.